As a grown man who's seen plenty of scary films, I didn't think a movie could affect me like the ghosts of Buxley <laughs> Hall. What? <laughs> All aboard! Good evening, or whenever you're watching this. Welcome to episode 31 of Where Streams Come True. This is the show where we suffer through the entire good and bad of Disney+. Plus. I am your host, Collins, and joining me today are returning guests, Cameron and Hello. B. Hello. I'm glad to have both of you here. This week, we I keep going into saying we had the pleasure of watching, but it's almost never true. <laughs> uh, this week, we watched Marvel Rising, Heart of Iron, the 2019 animated TV movie by directors Sol Choi and Alfred Germano. This doesn't feel like 2019. This feels like something that would have happened like in like 2008. Yeah, based well, on the that, quality. The one thing I did appreciate when I first saw it was that it looked a lot like the animation that I would have watched when I was a kid, mm -hmm. like X-Men, yeah. Transformers mm. type of a thing. So I thought that was really cool. It wasn't like super 3D-ish. It's not super stylized. Yeah. Yeah. Which I liked. It's that simple was enough. Kind of one of the only things I liked about it. Yes. <laughs> yes, in this show, 15-year-old genius Riri Williams finds herself in the middle of a cosmic conflict when Hollow the Accuser, whoever that is, steals her homemade Iron Man suit and her AI BFF along with it. Um, I thought the AI was named BFF based on the description. Hold on. It's I thought it was Amy. It is. Okay. But in the description it says AI BFF, so I thought the AI's thought name was BFF, but it's just it's her BFF. Why are you confused? Okay, initial so, okay, we'll go into initial thoughts. Have oh. you seen this movie before? What was your experience first time viewing and now returning to it? Again, none of us have seen it, but Cameron, you go first. What are you gonna say? Uh, well that's not my initial thought. <laughs> My initial thought is, why, why was this movie made? Yeah, my initial thought was, what did I miss? <laughs> Are you making me look, look this up? What? Why was Can this you movie made? Go through your initial thoughts. That was our initial oh, thoughts. Yeah. Now you. That was both thought. your initial thoughts? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We don't have a lot to say about this. The We're franchise this was first announced in December 2016 and consists of a television film, a series of shorts, and Marvel Comics to be announced later with additional television specials scheduled to follow. Okay, so it launched with a series of comic books in 2018, then a series of six four-minute shorts, then the television show, then two specials, Chasing Ghosts and Heart of Iron, then another short film series, then, so I had it backwards. So that's what we it missed. Was the, we it missed was the, the TV, TV show, show, then the specials. Oh. That's what we missed, is the whole TV show. We missed, an, we missed an entire... There was no context. That was... No. Yeah. yeah. We had no context to seeing this, and I, this was the first time we had all watched it. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. I was... That, that's sort of part of my initial thoughts, is I, I think they should have done context, because this is, this is an animated show for children. Mm-hmm. They should have had. They should have introduced the characters, yeah. like in in the anime show we watched. Like they introduced, they reintroduced every character every episode, which was a little overkill. But that's something that this could have used was, like spend yeah. spend the first two minutes just introducing us to who everyone is, or like had an intro. Yeah. Of some sort. Yeah, some sort of intro. Yeah, there was no there, there was, was no, no establishing shot. Yeah. It was it's just like, like now we're on campus and I was like, who? What? Yeah. It's and like what? even yeah. like as someone who is more familiar with Marvel and the comics and all the T V shows and stuff, I had never heard of Firestarter. Like <laughs> Patriot, I had no idea who he was. He looked kind of familiar, and then he started flying on that shield, and I was like, I don't even. Like when I was oh, when I yeah, was writing I the summary. All I know is that looking at the characters, they just look like some iteration of characters we know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we didn't know how they came to be, mm -hmm. which I don't mind necessarily because I get that it's a it's made for kids, and maybe like this is something you watch, you know, on the Disney Channel when you're scrolling through. The problem I had was when you look like. 
I look to, and maybe this is like a Disney Plus's thing, right? I look to like w- extras, you know, right below to see what's related to it. Yeah. And there was nothing there that said, this is what you should watch first, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't have them in order. <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember at one point when Disney Plus first came out, I wanted to watch these. And I had to look through the Wikipedia to see the release dates to see what order they were in. Because it doesn't, it doesn't tell you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like you watch the show, then you watch this special, then you watch this special. They're just all jumbled, jumbled. in there in a random order. Yeah. And, like, for the, for the synopsis, which I had to write because no synopsis exists anywhere on the Internet, um, I went, the, the, the Secret Warriors show up at one point, and I went through to type out, like, here's all the characters, and I got through Miss Marvel and Squirrel Girl, and I was like, okay, who else is there? Like, okay, I guess that's supposed to be Quake. Um, I recognized America Chavez. Who? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know what he was watching. Um, she's, uh, um, she punches the star-shaped holes in the ground. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was Miss America or whatever. Yeah, Miss yeah. America. You said Char- America Chavez. But her name's America Chavez, oh. but she's also known as Miss America. I don't ever think it's the hard C H yeah. Chavez. Okay. <laughs> well, I just remember. I do remember. I think it was Daisy, who I did not know who was Quake until I saw the Wikipedia right now before we yes. started yeah. talking. I oh. I saw the Wikipedia, the, the IMDb of this, uh-huh. and then I saw uh, Chloe Bennett on there, and I was like. She's I even, thought it sounded like and her, then yeah. As soon as Daisy popped out, I was, I was like, no, no, they did not. They did not just do that. I don't know how they got Chloe Bennett to voice yeah, her I don't, character. I don't know. Well, I, well, I don't know who Chloe Bennett is. She plays Quake in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, okay, action. so I haven't seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, okay. Yet. It is. It's seven seasons, and five of them are fantastic. Don't, don't worry about it. It's Disney. No, but you have to... Oh, It'll, oh! I guess it just goes on its own. All right, Grammarly now. <laughs> yeah, this is a new thing to the show. I'm not skipping ads anymore. Is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. still going? No, I believe season seven was the last season. Okay. Yeah. I've been First meaning to watch it. two or three it. seasons mm-hmm. are really good. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. I heard that they were really integrated into the movies, which I thought was really neat. Yes. I think the first couple they, seasons are, though. They, 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 it, they it depends. Like, it stops and then it's starts up again and then it completely stops oh like they were really it was like really tied into winter soldier and agents of shield and civil war um and then like they'll have like in between seasons like they do a season that's all about inhuman stuff and that's like set, uh, oh and then inhumans got canceled and then humans got canceled <laughs> yeah uh, which is like unique to the show and then they did one where they there's a season where they time travel to the future and that's its own insular thing um, and then in season five, I believe, it ties directly into Infinity War. And, like, the season finale takes place at the same time as the first fight in Infinity War in New York. And mm-hmm. then season six jumps forward a year and doesn't acknowledge any of the events of <laughs> Infinity War. <laughs> oh, it's boy. like one so... year later, and we're not going to acknowledge the snap. At and then all. the blip? Yeah. They when don't, people come back? They don't, they don't acknowledge it at all. Interesting. And then, and then, in se- and then they're time traveling all over the place in the, fu- in this, in the last season. And oh, in the boy. very last they episode, the they're like, oh, it turns <laughs> out uh, we've been in an alternate reality because of time travel and we're going to quantum realm, go back to the main continuity and acknowledge the events of Endgame. Whatever. Wait, did... It's digress. clearly a situation where they, they just didn't tell the showrunners what would happen in Endgame oh. because they didn't want anything oh. leaked. So they had to go through an entire season not knowing what was going but on. But they had to produce something. Yeah. So that like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll push it forward a year and everything should be resolved. And then an Endgame comes out and they're like, oh. No, actually it's been five. Yeah. And they don't actually go back to the snap. <laughs> yeah. But it, 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 it doesn't, you know, contradict anything too much. You just have to uh, rationalize that miraculously no one in the show got blipped <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah anyway we're talking about a not not as good i've got a headache and this show is so, just i want to address you want okay before that... i go into the full review you have something to confess <laughs> uh H- holla is it holla holla the accuser 
How is she the accuser? I thought... Ronan the accuser? Ronan was the accuser. Yes, that's how I recognized the person. I was like, why does this person look familiar? Because they do look similar. Well, they're Ronan. both Cree. Yes. Holly so that the would make accuser. sense, but I don't know how they're both accusers. Uh, because he's like some like holy guy that like deems planets like death unworthy. or like alive. Oh. Yeah, so like come back, like, so we're she is a... planet now and then he leaves. She is a oh, member of the accuser yeah, core. Accuser core? Yes, following the fall of the Kree Empire. This is in the comics, though, so I don't know how much it is, but apparently there are multiple accusers. Is this where Loki's from? No. No, Loki's from Asgard. Okay. Well, technically he's from Jotunheim. Oh, okay. Which, all of that is being mixed up in my head because of oh. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so I don't remember <laughs> how Norse mythology works in the MCU anymore. Uh... Yeah, I thought, when I first saw her, I thought she was that one uh, person, uh, one of Thanos' minions, the Black Order. There's that one female oh. member who has the staff, and I thought they were the same character, oh. but apparently they're not, I think. I don't know. I, don't, I thought they were making her up. I guess she's in the comics. <laughs> Yeah, she is in the comics. I think I don't know. I always I always feel like I you, I always wonder when I see other characters that I don't recognize, like the main ones, mm -hmm. whether they're actually from the comic book series or if you know they took creative liberties with the characters because they own quote unquote own the universe now. Yeah, right. You know. And then I look these up, and then on Wikipedia, I find things. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. How there is, is there a another yeah. one? <laughs> so <laughs> exactly. this is going to make her character and Ronan a little less cool. Who? Uh, the oh, the yes. Accuser Corps are the Kree Empire's planetary police and militia. So essentially, they're just space cops. That's dumb. <laughs> I prefer to think of it as Judge so, Dredd. <laughs> yes. Essentially, in, in Guardians of the Galaxy... Uh, Ronan is just a really aggressive cop? space cop <laughs> who wants to blow up another planet. He's like, Spe take your speeding ticket. And they don't. Yep. Oh. <laughs> and Hollow the Accuser is like, this is, this is stolen property. I'm reclaiming it. <laughs> they're evil space cops. <sighs> well, then they're not cops. They're just evil. Yeah. I guess, I don't know, the Kree... I don't know, maybe cops are evil? The Kree Empire That's is like evil, a, so yeah. they're... <laughs> <laughs> totally an ethics question. They're like the Gestapo. What? If, oh. Yeah, because the Kree oh, yeah, Empire okay. is yeah. evil, so the, the cops of the Empire are going to be bad guys. I guess. It's, I don't know. All the Kree stuff is confusing. Yeah. Especially because of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Again, bringing that show up again. I accidentally tabbed out of the wheel. Okay, it saved it. We don't need the wheel. We do. Oh. So, uh, right, yeah, just because context, we're watch right? Secrets like, of Evermore. This was picked from the wheel that was supposed to focus on black stories. Yes. I don't know how it focuses and this on black stories. And we, we, yeah, before we sat down here, we reviewed the wheel again, and this is the only thing on there that doesn't really focus on black stories, which is... So unfortunate. I will blame... Yeah. Well... According to, the, according to the meta of this show, I create the wheels, so I guess I only have myself to blame. <laughs> not not uh, um, a certain Andrew Hedges who makes probability things online. So they <laughs> also got uh, Ming-Na Wen for Yeah, Ming-Na Wen was Hala. Yeah, and I was like, what? So she's also an agent of oh, show. Okay. And she voiced Mulan oh, in the original Mulan. Okay. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. She went from Mulan so good. to Agent May to Hollow the Accuser in Marvel Rising Heart of Iron. <laughs> See, there's only one voice that I recognize, and it's just so weird. I don't know if I want to say this out loud, but I'm going to. Was it the dog? No, it wasn't the dog. It wasn't Lockjaw. <laughs> okay, would be so amazing. I recognize I recognize Lockjaw because of the few episodes I saw of Inhumans, which I'm like, maybe I'm I'll go back to it, but I never did. No. Nah. Um but I thought it was interesting that they had a big dog that could transport. I was so and confused. I was like, cool. Um, I don't know how a dog is inhuman, but I I don't either. <laughs> He's inhuman. In in, in humans, in, it's just this weird. Did I, they don't explain it in the show? 
Maybe they did, I just didn't pay attention. I'm going to just <laughs> keep the Marvel wiki up during this whole episode. But Inhumans, in, just as a side, Inhumans in general is like a weird family that does, they're just family members that aren't related physically looking, oh. but they're related. I don't, it's just weird. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, the only voice that I recognized was Riri's character. Oh, really? Because um, I got my, I got one of my nieces to watch Andy Mack. And she voices okay. one of the main characters of Andy Mack, which is oh. a Disney show, which is okay. a Disney show. And I grew up, I, I don't know, I really, one, I like Disney Channel in terms of like the live action shows that they create for kids, just because I think they're really interesting. And now yeah. Collins is making <laughs> a weird face. Uh, Lockjaw's origin story is really weird. <laughs> that Inhumans thing in general is just really weird. So, um, They get their powers weird, I don't know. Lockjaw's mother. Did they get them through those crystals or whatever? Something like that. Like th this. Yeah, Terrigen crystals. Yeah, there you go. They kill humans, but they activate in humans' power. So yeah. uh, Lockjaw, really quick. Uh, Lockjaw's mother was brought to the moon base that the Inhumans have as a puppy and experimented oh, yes. on by someone called the Surgeon Supreme. And she was impregnated by her own cloned genetic material. <laughs> oh, what? And uh, gestated five puppies. Ugh. And Lockjaw was the only one that survived. So Lockjaw is a clone of, of his mother. mother. It's a clone? Yes. But his mother gave birth to her own clone that has teleportation powers for some reason. And a stupid That's tuning fork on his head. That's what happens when you clone yourself and give birth to yourself, yourself basically. <laughs> but Lockjaw's a male. I think. Is he? I think he is. It sounds I'm like it. I'm pretty sure like in the yes, show they yes, kept Lockjaw, saying Yes, yeah, Lockjaw's male. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. And five feet tall. Yeah, he's a big dog. He's so cute. I guess. <laughs> I'm mad that they got <laughs> D. Bradley Baker for this. <laughs> they got D. Yeah, they got D. Bradley Baker. Anyway, like, do, we do we want to get into the full synopsis? Let's do it. Uh, we're just going to keep talking about it. I tried, because this is a long one, I tried to make it a little more subjective and less uh, sarcastic, like I did with the last episode, because I had to write it myself. <laughs> I'll do my best. The show opens with, uh, so this is, it's, it's, it's Kamala Khan in this context. Kamala Khan? Yes. The vice president is Kamala. Miss Marvel is Kamala. Miss. I always thought oh, okay, that the yes. vice president was Kamala. I didn't know it was Ka it's Kamala. Kamala, yeah. Okay, sorry. That may also be wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, I, there's a lot of names in this. The show opens with Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, and a uh, squirrel girl, who I guess her name is Doreen, um, out of costume touring a college campus. In a science lab, Riri Williams and other students are doing tests on a strange Cree artifact. Riri is upset when she learns her friends went to a club the last night without her. Just then, Hollow the Accuser bursts through the building's wall, calls the students thieves, and moves to recover the artifact. Captain Marvel shows up and intervenes, and Squirrel Girl reveals to Kamala that the real reason they were there was, was to follow her and get some real hero experience. The rest of the Secret Warriors teleport in, including Quake, Ghost Spider, Inferno. Okay, I realize that later on I call him Firestarter, and is that, that is not his name. His name is Inferno. <laughs> oh. Uh, Patriot. That's better than yeah. Firestarter. Yeah. I'm going to have to fix that while you two are talking later. Uh, Patriot. Uh, Lockjaw and America Chavez, Chavez, either or, Miss America. I thought that um, was Ka 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 Kamala. Kamala is no, Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Who's Miss? America is Miss America. Who's Her Ms. first Marvel? name is America. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel is Kamala. Is Kamala. <laughs> what powers does she have? She's the one that stretches. She stretches. And makes oh. Her hands bigger. Yeah. She's the one character that I had no idea who she was. <laughs> Miss America can. Punch stars. Stars. <laughs> and I believe she can like punch through reality or something what? is one of her powers. <laughs> um <laughs> she's got a weird move set. Uh uh, uh. The, and uh uh oh, where was I? Uh, Captain Marvel is surprised at them showing up, directs them to help bystanders and to do damage control. The fight continues, just as Hollow is about to escape with the artifact, Iron Man arrives blocking her path. The artifact is 
tossed around like a hot potato before it explodes. I don't remember that. I don't remember why it explodes. And uh, Hala escapes with Iron Man in pursuit. Tony Stark then shows up, and he is very upset about the damage to his lab. Captain Marvel berates Quake and the rest of the Secret Warriors and then leaves. Quake calls a meeting at the garage, which is their base. Um, the Iron Man loses flight powder. Powder, powder. <laughs> flight power. And the faceplate lifts to reveal it was Riri under the suit the whole time. What? Did you watch the same <laughs> thing we did? I'm wondering what you There's watched. a lot of these little details that I just blocked out. That's because I was, I was typing this out the whole time I was watching it. Okay, oh. so this is the first scene. I was like watching Discuss Breaking while I correct I was like, oh, I have to watch Firestarters. A movie. Inferno. And I like oh, hurry and watched it and then went back to watching Breaking Bad. Oh yeah, you should not do that. <laughs> because Breaking Bad is so good. <laughs> well, I had to w stop watching it so I could watch this. Okay, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To make it somewhat bearable, I guess. I don't know. I just I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, you said that those are Riri's friends. They're not her friends. I think that they're just classmates. Okay. Oh, yeah. Or well, people at the lab that she works with. Yeah. Um, oh. I thought it was weird that they, you, you know, what you were saying earlier, that they just are like, bam, let's start the show. Mm -hmm. You've got Miss Marvel, a.k.a. Kamala, 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 oh boy. who's Miss Marvel okay. and Squirrel Girl, <laughs> exploring the city, who's also Daisy. Their names got me so confused because I did not know that Quake was the same as Daisy. Oh no, Doreen is Squirrel Girl or whatever. Yeah, I'm just so confused. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then the next scene where we see Captain Marvel rush in to save the day. Yes. All of a sudden, Miss Marvel was in her super suit. Yeah. But Squirrel Girl doesn't change. She doesn't have one. Squirrel <laughs> Girl just grows a tail. She grows a tail. I That's why it was disappearing. I thought she had the tail the whole time. No. Oh. <laughs> why is she growing a tail? I don't know. If, okay. You want me to look up to see if the... So... Oh, my... Okay. Did I spell I squirrel the, wrong? The, the worst okay. thing <laughs> about going into this show is that we had no context. Yeah. We didn't know any of the characters... They were introducing one new character that was going to come in. Yeah, we like, I was ready for, for I, Iron Heart or whatever. Her yeah, name is. Because but she's then on, all she's the, on other the ones. like thumbnail. Yeah. yeah, in her suit, which doesn't show up until the very end. The very end, yeah, exactly. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that's a really cool suit. I think this is going to be a cool show. I'm going to get introduced to these new characters I've never seen before, and I did not get introduced to anyone. <laughs> I had a Wikipedia and IMDb my way through who these people were. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think she always has the tail. See? So she doesn't just grow a tail. <laughs> and people make fun of her tail. Yeah, that was so Yeah, so they, they make fun of like how her gimmick is squirrels and how she has a tail. Like Iron Man at one point is like, that's a tail. Yeah. Okay. Interesting choice. Interesting yeah. choice. And I'm like, well, I mean, it she makes She was born with sense. it. Yeah, she was born with it. So, like, F mm -hmm. one F you for discriminating, <laughs> like, you and your stupid heart that can't work by itself. Mm -hmm. You know Is what I mean? Is there really no explanation for why she has powers? Squirrel girl. She doesn't really even have an explanation of her powers. Yeah, All it says is she suffered a modification in her genes for unknown reasons. <laughs> her parents consulted a doctor, and it was determined that she wasn't a mutant. Or an inhuman. Uh, they're like, it's a squirrel. Yeah, it's just weird. I think in one story, she I read that she squirrels. was the nanny of Scarlet Witch and what? Quicksilver. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. And she <laughs> just she beat Thanos. She beat yep. Galactus. So I don't know why she has not been anywhere. She needs to be so in the they, MCU. They like exactly. She needs to be in they're, the they're MCU. They're doing a they're She's doing a like Miss Marvel show. Character. <laughs> She's like the comic relief. Yeah. I like that she is that, though. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. the comic relief of the show. She's like this clumsy girl who's like super smart and really helpful. Yeah. But she's, I think she's bigger than this show. Oh, her, yeah. now that we're talking about it. Like, her powers were deemed too strange for Iron Man, so she didn't join the Avengers <laughs> because she was too weird. <laughs> which, is, which totally explains her character, I feel yeah. like. And that yeah. like, carries on into this Squirrels. show. Squirrels, and then she's. And I think somewhere I read that like, it's not that she she's telepathic with squirrels; it's that she can really understand what they're saying, 
and squirrels can understand her English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. She's the best. I mean, they're, they're doing the Miss Marvel show, so maybe oh, Squirrel Girl. Will, yeah, that's going to be on Disney+. That's Plus. the one oh, okay. that stretches, right? Yes, that's the one that stretches. Yes. Okay. They I thought are... that Miss Marvel was just a ripoff of Captain Marvel. No. no. The reason why she's... Okay, she idolizes Captain Marvel. Yeah, she Marvel. idolizes Captain Marvel. Oh, and when boy. her family moves from Pakistan to America, yes. I think that's how she kind of... That's when she like finds ab out about Captain Marvel and then like idolizes her. Yeah, she calls herself oh. Miss Marvel because she wants to be like okay. Captain Marvel. Yeah, yeah, which they kind of touch in, on in this, but like barely. Little, like barely, it was like a nod to like we're here. Okay, so that's another problem I have, right? So <laughs> we're here to follow Miss, you know, Captain Marvel on her, you know, hero day or whatever. And I'm like, why? How does she know? <laughs> Captain that Marvel this is going. building is going to be attacked. Yeah. And they're just there by happenstance following Captain Marvel, which they really aren't doing. Mm -hmm. Because Captain Marvel only appears when she After needs Hala to. After Hala does, yeah. So, WTF, why didn't they warn anyone beforehand before that even happened? Yeah. And the, then there were a bunch the of students in there. deemed it so, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Okay, also, Miss America is going to be in the MCU, though, but I think she's showing up in the doc next Doctor Strange movie. Um, that's strange. Yeah. Everyone's getting dropped in in weird places. Uh, so and Miss Marvel is going to be in Captain Marvel, too. Oh, my gosh. There's too many. The second one. Well, I, and then there's the new one coming up. There's too many characters. The, what, what's the Ironheart is also getting a Disney Plus show. Really? Yes. I'm not against any of this. <laughs> This However, watching this show as my introduction to these characters yeah. was not the best. I hope the MCU yeah. does it better. Yes. And I think, I mean, but, it, you know, but you also have to watch this show from the perspective of a 10 to 12 year old. Yes. Well, it's a the 10 way... to 12 year old, I would have been so confused the entire show. Well, my, my sister but, described this as like something that you put on to get your kids to be quiet oh. that they don't have to think too hard about. And it's most likely if I was a 10 to 12 year old, I would have been watching this from be the beginning. Yes. Right. It wouldn't just be like, here's a show you can randomly watch to represent Black History Month. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which it's not. Uh, One thing I do appreciate, though, is they're inserting a lot of very strong female characters. Yes. Which I really do enjoy. And it's a diverse cast. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just didn't like that. I didn't know who the hell any of these people were. Before yeah. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think I, I was um, impressed by Ironheart as a character in this more than I... America. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Good job. I didn't know <laughs> um, that... <laughs> More than I expected, because like on on the surface, Ironheart is like it's Iron Man, but a black woman. Um, yes. But the way they handle it, um, I guess the, the name Ironheart is still weird. It's not like Iron Girl, or where like or like a Bat Boy type scenario where they just do like the same the character thing, but, different. but different. She's yeah. got she's got a di a very unique origin story and like. Her suit is kind of an Iron Man suit, like it runs off of the same tech, but she's got her own spin to it. This is very distracting. Oh my gosh, that was it weird. Is so it, it yeah, it, it's less of a discount Iron Man and more of a more unique character. I like that it is different and unique. Yeah, but Ironheart is also kind of misleading, just because it's just the only difference is that it's it's not like the it's tech is helping her heart, not like. Tony Stark Yeah, is. that would have made even more sense that if it was be actually cool. helping her heart. Yeah. So oh my Technically, the name Ironheart makes more sense for, for Tony Stark because yeah. it is... Exactly. Because it is powering his heart. Wow. So, uh, which makes it misleading for her character to be called Ironheart. Mm -hmm. We just blew... But that's because maybe we're overthinking it. Yeah, they needed, <laughs> they needed to give the superhero... What is this building? It's just a bunch of... Stairs. Hold on, if we hit zero, it'll go back to normal. Don't touch it. This isn't an ad. No, we don't need to. All right. This is New this York. This is a thing in New York. Someone in the comments explain this to me because. What the heck? Okay, so. It's for people to get exercise without actually having to go anywhere. Oh. 
Oh, oh so if you get too far but out, it also then you're like, an I can't walk back. I've walked all the way back down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the it's like, I thought there elevator. was a building oh, here. Oh, that's cheap. Unless, what if this was like the memorial for some, for like the Twin Towers? I don't know. Who knows? Oh, that, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Why is it so shiny? It's the memorial of the, the Battle of New York from the Avengers. From the Avengers. <laughs> from the Avengers <laughs> movie. Uh, so, <laughs> during this battle in the opening. Yes. They have this stupid pop music that starts playing. Oh my gosh. During, you mean during every battle in this Yes, movie? during every battle. And it's so annoying because I mean, it doesn't fit. It's They're not like, even like by a pop band. It's the same group does every song in oh, this. Oh, yeah. So their song's made for this. Sorry. It reminded, so I wasn't too annoyed by it. I thought it was interesting when it first came up because I was like, this reminds me a lot of like older cartoons. Like Kim Possible. Yes. That was it for me. Oh, really? Yeah. There you go. It reminded me of like Kim Possible or something of that nature. <laughs> it, re but it, it just reminded. It brought me back to like Disney okay. Channel. I get it. Like, yeah, okay. So I think what got me is the fact that I didn't know any of these characters. Yeah. So like, if I did, then I'd probably be like, yeah, they're fighting. Yeah. Yeah. But since I didn't know, it was just like, why? What is happening? Like, why is like, this? Why is this in a movie mm -hmm. in this fashion? Yeah. Honestly. I feel like even if we did know all these characters, it would still be confusing because there's just so many of them. There are a lot of characters. Yeah. yeah. And I'm pretty sure there's not a sh or a, a TV movie dedicated to each of them. I thought there was, and then I saw that. Only to uh, Ghost Spider, Shuri, Shuri has her own Iron Heart, partial explanation, and that is and Inferno. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse? Yeah. That's how I know who... Go I guess her name is Ghost Spider in this. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't, actually, I don't, I don't think her name in the comics is ever Spider-Gwen because that would, you know, kind of be giving it away <laughs> of who she is. Um, That'd be I guess Ghost Spider works because she's got a white costume. Does she go invisible? No. Who goes invisible? Miles. Oh, Miles. Oh, okay. Who is just Spider-Man. He doesn't have a... Again, different... you missed the target, right? Ultimate Spider-Man. You could have just. I don't know. It's like it's like spider. the it's like what the Flash is right now in invisible. comics, where there's like three Flashes who are just called the Flash, and you just I don't know. You're just supposed to figure out which one's which. It's really dumb. Well, I mean, this is the whole. <laughs> this is why it's explained as there are multiple universes within the same universe. Yes. I'm not sure if this Gwen Stacy is from a different universe. She might be. But I haven't seen that special, so. Anyway. Yeah, that, I feel like she. Sh all, all I know is that she's like framed for murder or something. And so like the secret warriors are trying to take her down in that special and then they oh. end up recruiting her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. That sounds like a much more That's all the trailer movie. for it. Yeah, a little more heavy than... We'll get into it. Um, continuing onward. Oh, okay. I was surprised we had that much to talk about. I mean, there's still more to talk about in that opening thing. Like, the battle is just bizarre. The fact and that Hala is able to solo fight against Captain Marvel is... Uh, I guess. Oh, she's a Kree, so I, you know... Yeah. I guess Cap Captain Marvel is a little less powerful in this than she is in the movies or in the comics. Well, because I think when, of what I've seen of Ronin, yeah. the only one who was able to take him on was Captain Marvel. Yes. So I guess it would kind of make sense that those two would be the ones... Yeah, I mean, Ronin does survive a whole heck of a lot in Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Like, he gets, like, hit by a ship, crashes onto the planet gets hit by the rocket's ginormous gun thing mm -hmm. and is totally fine through all of that. Um, so yeah, Kree are beefy. Yeah. Yeah, beefy and blue. And uh, you can do a blood transfusion and bring Adrian Coulson back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a... Th Which is a thing. Which is a thing. Anyway, 
we move onward in the story, and uh, it cuts back to Riri's apartment, and her, fr uh, I guess they're not her friends, her, her classmates, uh, invite her. That that's her dorm. Her dorm. She also has a roommate. Not an apartment. I don't no, know who the roommate is. Roommate. There was a second bed. Yeah, that she messed up. What? I'm pretty sure that she just has that room to herself. Because like she so had her, she had her no roommate slash it? friend before who left. Be, I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> they right. they invite her to lunch and she turns them down, and then her friends make remarks as they leave, somewhat behind her back, but also like <laughs> five feet away from her. Yeah, yeah. Um, which the machine hears. Yes. Which Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Riri's helmet start uh, starts talking uh. and tries to cheer her up and reveals itself as an artificial intelligence named Amy. Flashback to a sad scene after the funerals of funeral of Riri's stepfather who died in a car accident with a drunk driver. Uh, she comes up with a plan to build a superpower like Tony Stark did. Uh, then we go back to her apartment and she uh, continues to work on her uh, repairing her Iron Man suit. She uses a comically small screwdriver <laughs> to unscrew a comically big screw. <laughs> I didn't notice that. It's good. I did. The, I, I, the flashback was necessary, but I had a hard time taking it seriously because it was just like so depressing. Uh, it's I, like it, like she she's sad, and then it flashes back, and I'm immediately like, okay, which family member's dead? <laughs> 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 Who's her uncle Ben? Yeah. And it was her, yeah, it's her stepfather her step died in a car yeah. accident. And she's like, uh, if only I could have prevented it. It's unclear whether or not she was, like, there or not. I think she so, yeah, may have so also been in the car. That's, yeah, that was unclear. If if she had been, like, somewhat injured coming out of the church, that would have been yeah. helpful to mm -hmm. know how exactly she knew the exact trajectory that the car needed to go into in order for her stepfather to, to be saved. Unless yeah. she just, like... It could, like, they could have made it more tragic and maybe, like, she was the one driving and, like, he was in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. And so, like, if she had, you know, turned Did, it five degrees correction. or whatever. Yeah. I. But it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really fully explain So, that. with the whole five degrees thing, I got, like, some Vietnam flashbacks to that Spider-Man thing. Oh, so the, the Spider-Man? If it was five degrees to the left, then he would have left. And, like, five degrees. <laughs> you calculated that? Five degrees? When Spider-Man is using the scientific method to yeah. find out what his superpowers are? Yeah. That, but for her, I mean, uh... this was kind of... Her superpower, right, is that she's super smart. Right. She doesn't yes. have an actual superpower, which is what leads her to want to use her brains for something good. Right. I, I think she's, like, supposed to be, like, the smartest person. It's either her or Shuri that's, like, the smartest person in the Marvel Universe. Mm. Although I think that title gets thrown around a lot because I think, because Mr. Fantastic is also the smartest person in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> yeah. So, like... <laughs> that's right. Um, but Riri is definitely... But someone else owns... Yeah, but it's fantastic. it's either that Riri <laughs> is smarter than Tony Stark because she's able to build an Iron Man suit at that age, or she's on the same level as Tony Stark and is able to make an Iron Man suit based on the technology. That's what I figured. Ba based on, like, you know, previous knowledge and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but she has to at least be as smart as him to make her own suit. Yes. Because otherwise, everyone least, would have an Iron yeah. Man suit. Yeah, it would be at least. And, I mean, she obviously showed her... Her intellect when she figured out the alien mech. Yes. In the yeah, first oh scene. yeah, she does like the the weird that thing. Was hologram, like, hologram, I, whatever, yeah. and it's like it is a I power can't source. I understand this. And I solved the, the the spherical Rubik's cube, and she calls it some sort of weird like it blows up fusion cooled yeah. fusion power cool. oh, source. Oh, they call or it something. something really stupid. And I was like, <laughs> you better explain that scientific <laughs> word you just said. And they didn't. No, nope, they didn't codex. because they were attacked. Yep, and then it blew up, so who cares? Like, <laughs> exactly. she is able to hold point. her own against a supervillain oh, in her yeah. suit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. Hollow when was a supervillain. When she villain. came in as, yeah, super, I just, as Iron I was, Man? Yeah, and she was, was able to hold her own. I don't remember that. I just remember her coming in. Well, mostly, she, she does get her suit broken in the process, but, like... How, though? I don't... I don't remember this but fight. But this is, they had to get it she, broken in order for her to fix it in the room. Oh and for yes. us to find out that it's actually Riri. Smart yes. movie making. <laughs> when, the, when the helmet comes up and yes. it's like, <gasps> oh. 
like when 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 Tony Stark shows up and like everyone like everyone later is like, how how could Tony Stark have shown up at the same time as this suit, even though like. Technically, he just takes. He a has. Suit he off, has. Right? He has. Yeah, auto- yeah he has. Exactly. He has automated suits all <laughs> yeah. the time, but plot uh, needed to happen. It's um, like that part. I don't know if we got to that part. We're like, we're like trying to figure out if it's Iron oh, Man who or not. Iron Man is. We'll get there start later. making all these assumptions, and I was like, it still could have been Iron oh, Man. Oh yeah, there's some though. great. Yeah, exactly, there's some great. There are many suits that he has, but but Detective they also Ward. address that. Yeah, I mm-hmm. still feel like they. He's got a lot of suits. Way too many. Oh, what the, yeah, what's it like? They look at the boots and they're like, oh, the boots are different. Like, how? Yeah. <laughs> it was like a minor. Uh, like, I was like, I, I, was trying, I was trying to side. look, I was trying to look like, okay, like, this how is do you a. differentiate in a cartoon? Like, do they have yeah. heels or something? What's different? Anyway, uh, uh, we cut to Hala in an abandoned subway tunnel, which is really dignified for so a second. Oh, is that where she was? Yeah, and she reports so to a mysterious weird. hologram, who is probably Ronan, uh, and she says that there's a new power source that Hala is after and just needs Captain Marvel to be distracted. So I guess the, the, the power source she was going after was Riri's... Well, see, that's the thing, right? Okay, so now, suit? okay, so I was so confused because I was like, "Why are we in this scene? How? What am Why I missing? Why are we in a I am dingy subway to, tunnel? I'm trying to understand, and I just couldn't comprehend it. And the supervillain is sitting in a pile of else. garbage. Yes, and I was like, "What is going on?" And so, okay, and then and then it cuts to that scene that we're going to be talking about later. But I guess that makes sense, right? Like, the energy source that there that she was going after the first place gets Ooh, destroyed. Oh, and so she now she has a new one, which is she an needs arc a new reactor. yes. Which is oh a, yes. But that then, but then, what? Now. But it doesn't make sense why she would automatically know who that person is yeah. when everyone knows that that's Tony Stark. Right. Yeah, that is never explained. Or who Daisy is. Because she transforms into Daisy in order to get it. Oh, and she says... And I was like, how did yeah, you know? Yeah, because I guess Daisy yeah. Johnson isn't her public persona. Quake is. Yeah. I don't know. She's a supervillain. She's got meta knowledge or something. <laughs> or the fact that... The she fact wrote that, the script. The fact <laughs> that Riri Williams' suit with the arc reactor is comparable to this, like, ancient Kree power source artifact. Yeah. And all she needed the power source for was to make a, a portal to, to go home. To go home to, and to go home. Of all of the plots. Well, but she also uses the go like home. The, the portal works both to ways. To go home and destroy the and, Earth. Yeah, but with, she made that after the fact. She was like, "Oh yeah, I'm also going to destroy the Earth." And, and then I'm going to leave a little blow. present of this and I was absolute like, you could have just went nonsense. <laughs> like you didn't have to destroy the Earth. I wonder if this is a thing. But she's a cop. Oh, so she had to kill him? Yes. (laughs) 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 Well, Uh, it's very relevant to today. You love to see it. That's Um, another conversation that I didn't think was going to (laughs) be. It keeps coming up. It keeps coming up. (laughs) Uh, We we, we come to the, the garage. And the Secret Warriors are frustrated at the whole situation and throw blame from Captain Marvel, then to Quake, then to Squirrel Girl, and it just stays on Squirrel Girl because it's absolutely her fault. Um, but Lock, then it's accepted. We yeah. get this really dumb scene of Lockjaw and a squirrel fighting over food, which becomes a whole arc through this whole movie of oh, Lockjaw and the squirrel. Yeah. Um, for the kids, Miss Marvel notices something strange about the footage in Iron Man and figures out that it wasn't Tony in the suit, and I still don't know what it is that she noticed. <laughs> she says that the boots it are different. It was the boots that were different, and they showed the side-by-side of the boots. <laughs> they were just both And then they were like, like, barely. You could barely like, tell this the is difference. nothing. He has a lot of different... This is nothing. Mm-hmm. But it's funny, yeah. No, because the, then that Dante kid was like, yeah, he's got a bunch of different suits. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I totally agreed, and they brought and the up the line, are... but then they kind of, like, left it there, right? Yeah, they were like, like Wait. shouldn't we tell Mr. Stark that someone's impersonating him? And then they're like, no, but nah. we know who it is. Or we, or we yeah, might they, know they, who they, it is. They, well, later they say, like, we figured out oh, who yeah, was in the suit, out, and yeah. they never explain what logic thread led them <laughs> to Riri. <laughs> they just A paper kept assuming, came up. and then... A paper came up that Riri wrote regarding 
Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, the animal papers or I completely missed that. No, but wait, I thought they read that after. <laughs> no, they. I geez. think they read that. Trying right. To, right. Trying to figure right. out if Riri is the person oh. who is in the suit or not. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, the whole logic the of, like, actually shop. getting to that point was, yeah. like, lost. I hope oh I wrote heck. that down. Which part? No, I wrote it down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cut to Riri, and Quake shows up at her apartment. Quake. Um, she has already figured out that it was Riri inside the Iron Man suit. Daisy offers her a job at S.H.I.E.L.D. for some reason and asks to take a look <laughs> at her suit before hitting her with a taser. Quake is then revealed to be Hollow the Accuser in disguise. Short scene, but uh, Her mm. intention is to always kill. I did get bamboozled. Yeah. But she didn't kill the girl. She should have, yeah. yeah. She could have just like What was that? Pat. She could have just yeah. yeah. What the heck? But it's also a kid show. But yeah. she's a cop. <laughs> no, we don't. Um, we cut to a diner and uh, Daisy is eating a lot of zucchini. Uh, she doubts herself as a leader. Zucchini, pomegranate, Zucchini, or pomegranate, yeah. donuts. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Uh. She doubts herself as a leader, and Miss Marvel tries to cheer her up. Riri shows up, assuming Daisy was the one who knocked her out and gets real aggro. Squirrel Girl arrives and defuses the situation by being herself. Okay, I just realized another thing. So Daisy, <laughs> I mean, not Daisy, Miss Marvel's the one that goes to cheer up Daisy. Quake. Yeah. But wasn't she in the same scene as Squirrel Girl when they realized Iron Man wasn't yes. there? So I think they like, don't explain why she goes. I think uh, she like went ahead and then they kept researching. And okay. Then they yeah, up, she, sh she shows up at the diner to cheer up Quake, but it doesn't explain how she knew Quake was there because they were just waiting for her yeah, to, to show come up back the to the garage. I guess she just had a giant sign over the building. They have like, G hey, they I'm have here. they have oh, GPS. Yeah, the Riri also found yes. them somehow. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> da <laughs> Daisy no uh, Daisy denies uh. being the one who stole the suit. Riri wants to go after Hala and decides but then decides to team up with the the, the Secret Warriors. Okay, now no. We talk about the uh, donut guy. <laughs> 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 the best character in okay, this whole show. Okay, now, oh, now I am, God. like, really confused. How did... <laughs> the seventh secret of sifting. Riri... <laughs> I want to know the seven secrets now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and why are there seven? <laughs> because there has to be seven in order to He's, sift. like, in the back teaching him all these, like, <laughs> arcane methods of donut making, <laughs> including putting pomegranates and zucchini... Into and a, a donut, yeah. And Daisy ate, like, seven? Yeah. Seven bowls, I think. I, was, I don't think it was like specifically one. There was like a bowl a or whole whatever thing of, of them. Donuts. And she had seven, I think. But they're healthy donuts, so you could have more than a couple. I still don't think that you would really be at your tip top fighting shape after that for like a half hour <laughs> fight scene <laughs> while at eating uh, a lot of zucchini. Did they go yeah. directly to the fight? Basically. Well, wow. I don't understand how, and you're right, I don't understand how Riri knew where the hell they were. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Because she doesn't have a band. No. Riri just shows up and is like, hey, you stole my suit and you shot me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then Daisy's the Squirrel like, Girls comes in. We well, you know who's in the suit. Oh, you already found her. And then they're like, what the F? Yeah. And then like the squirrels being all weird. Um, yeah. And they uh, get more donuts from the back or whatever. <laughs> it's like, oh, I need the donuts from the back. And it's like. Obviously, she, she's she's asking him to do, like not be there for the conversation, and he seems to know what that means. But it also sounds like she's asking for like weed donuts, and I. <laughs> <laughs> That's my head canon, Is that the donuts they get at the end are just like full of weed? Uh huh. It's like, oh, these are for later. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Cut to show to you the seven secrets of sifting. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like that, that that's the end credit scene we didn't get is everyone back at the garage just like <laughs> high out of their minds on the couch. <laughs> While the donut man is sifting. Yeah. Oh, that's the seventh secret of sifting is yeah. how to hide the weed from the yes. cops. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> that's why she destroyed the planet. Yes. Or it's like, or it's like the, 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 in Goodfellas with the, they, they find the cocaine in the sifter. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. It's had a, it's had a sift cocaine into donuts. We <laughs> took it a step further from weed to coke. Oh, boy. This is a Marvel TV show for kids, by the way. I didn't like Goodfellas. <laughs> oh, you didn't like it? 
from what I saw. Well, I you only it. saw like the last half, though. Yeah, it was boring. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the team arrives at a nondescript park and confront Hala. Ooh, maybe it was Central Park because maybe it was that fountain. Is that what that was? The fountain from John Wick. <laughs> That's all that I know. Because <laughs> you know, there's the fountain, and then there's the there's the like the little courtyard where Perkins dies. Anyway, um, that's besides the point. Um, they arrive at the park and confront Hala. Hala summons a, a giant robot rock thing. Uh, Riri attempts to reason with her AI, but the robot attacks, and uh, you know, everybody <laughs> by, not not sponsored. I'm uh, I honestly this is way cannot be bothered to skip ads one. anymore. <laughs> I can put a black bar over it if I need to. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the everyone, the, they, they start combat. Um, the, the team needs to prevent Hala from opening a gate to her home planet? A planet, somewhere. Uh, they come up with a plan and go into action. This is where things got really confusing to write down. Patriot, Squirrel Girl, Lockjaw, and Miss America attack the gate to no avail. Quake and Ghost Spider incapacitate Hala like really easily. And then the rest mm-hmm. of the team has no luck damaging the machine. Hala breaks free and activates the gate, releasing a stream of anti plasma. <laughs> which I will talk about later. Which shouldn't Don't that worry. Just be cold. Okay. Quake calls Captain Marvel for help and they retreat to the woods near a children's playground. Which is like conveniently hilarious. Um, Riri can stop the flow by getting through to her AI, and Squirrel Girl takes her back to the garage to set up, but drops her bracelet like an idiot. And somehow you don't notice that there's something on your wrist that's no longer there. Um, uh, The rest, uh, I had a typo here, so it's read as the rest of the team uh, moves to slow down the anti plasma. And that's the scene. Uh, so real quick, okay. What is I'm gonna see what is plasma, and then the plasma is just like it's so. What is the opposite of plasma? <laughs> plasma is a yes, state so would, of matter, yeah. So, so this it, is the opposite of so it should be antimatter, I guess, in the form of plasma. I guess is that's what they're oh, saying. I mean, that makes sense because yeah, it, just, it yeah. just absorbs everything, but isn't antimatter just something that destroys matter? Isn't yeah, that so what? technically when it hits the air, everything should be destroyed. Yes. But this is also a kid show. Right. <laughs> and you need to give cool black bubbles a name. <laughs> so, <laughs> anti... Uh, what is it called? Anti-plasma? Anti-plasma. Yeah. Anti-plasma it is. Which is uh, 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 on top of the whatever they called the uh, Cree device, it's just more like sci-fi BS. Make a name for something and have it sound intimidating. Okay, there's mm-hmm. no way we're in New York. That can't be. That's New York. Don't worry about it, Cameron. Okay. This is not a feature. This is a feature of the show. No <laughs> um, Anti plasma. Anti plasma. Uh, so <laughs> when. Just Squirrel keep Girl, saying it, it will not stop sounding dumb. When, when Squirrel Girl goes back to the garage, yeah. she gets back there via the dog with the fork on his head. Why didn't the dog with the fork on his head just take the squirrel into the, the b- actual place? Why did, she, yeah. why did the dog take her outside? I was like, you, the dog just left. I mean, it is you just a dog. Just so yeah, um, he just kind of does what he's told. Yeah, dogs aren't that right. smart. I don't know. I feel like Squirrel Girl could have thought ahead there. Yeah, she could have. I think that. I don't really think thinking ahead is Squirrel Girl's forte. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that is true. Ooh, this oh, rain right, is making fair. my kidneys hurt. Can you get another kidney stone? Honestly, it feels like every day I'm having like micro kidney stones sometimes uh, where it'll just uh, hurt a little bit. Well, maybe um, you shouldn't be drinking those. I probably shouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should um, be drinking water. <laughs> but I've got a migraine and oh. caffeine helps. I don't think that's right. I'm so sorry. I'll be fine. <sighs> yeah, don't get kidney stones, kids. Uh, turns out it's really expensive. Um, <laughs> that's why. That's why you shouldn't get them. Yeah, no other reason. Uh, my insurance covered part of it, but 
Um, so I guess. Want me to continue? Just want me to continue? Yeah, just continue. I guess. Okay. After absorbing ghost spiders' webs, uh, it gains tentacles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I feel I like they make a, they get close to making a hentai oh, joke about, I think. Oh, yeah. Where they're like, tentacles, that's the last thing I needed. And it's Miss Marvel who says that, who's like, I believe in the comics, she, I know she writes fan fiction about Captain Marvel. Not that kind, maybe that kind. Uh, <laughs> but she strikes me as an anime fan. Um, I feel like uh, Inferno Ms. makes Marvel, a joke on that. Yeah, Miss Marvel... Also, Miss Marvel gets a really weird reaction from some parents after saving their daughter, and then they uh, use a wall of fire to block out the anti-plasma. What was that about? Like, she saves this kid, and then the parents are like, ah, oh, and then they look at her, and they're like, mm. yeah. I don't know like, if it's something, so, I don't know. It's, it, it might it be an inhuman like, thing. It, is it an inhuman thing, or I is it think. like a like an X-Men thing? You know, people who oh, are just, not. Ba just yeah, basically, yeah. normal humans have the same prejudice against Inhumans as they do X-Men. Mm -hmm. um, but Miss Marvel isn't Inhuman. Inhuman. Or maybe. Is she? Miss Marvel isn't Inhuman. She is? Yes. Oh, oh okay. The, see, the Inhuman <laughs> thing is a totally different reason why, why people they have powers. are, why people have powers. Yeah. Right, but I'm assuming But I guess people, that, like, people are just racist against people with powers yeah. regardless. Regular people wouldn't or, have Or, I mean, because it's like, oh, oh weird person. I mean. yeah, yeah, but yeah. at the same time, these parents could have just been normal racist. Normal racist yes. against oh, God. So when gosh. I saw that, so when when you, I did saw did you think that, it was just? You know, I thought it was just because they were racist. Garden variety racists. Oh. But then again, it was like the dad. Yeah, I just thought they were racist. My goodness, like <laughs> in the in in the Marvel universe, racists have like so much more to choose from than the real yeah. world. <laughs> Like you've got like oh no yeah yeah racists have a f like a much larger buffet in the Marvel universe mm -hmm. than in real life. It's like <laughs> you got X Men, you got mutants, you got Inhumans, you got people, who, you got aliens, you got aliens, people whose genetic codes are changed because of chemicals. You got time travelers, other people with superpowers. Um, I mean, like they're they're already getting into that with Wandavision. Like Hayward is just. Racist against superpower people, period. General, yeah. yeah. Sure. I, I hope he dies. <laughs> I hope he dies next week. Me too. Ugh. So we cut to Doreen and Riri entering the garage. The elevator doesn't work. For no reason. Oh, Again, right. another sentence that I sh don't feel like I should have to say in a superhero show, um, like the vending machine last week. Uh, because Doreen lost her identification bracelet. Because so, oh, you know, yes. they, don't, they don't have face scanners or anything like that. Uh, Riri flashes back to her garage workshop, and uh, we learn that her work ethic was driving her away from her best friend. Um, which, I don't know the vibes you were getting, but best friend was one word of, one way of saying it. Uh, Doreen cheers her up, and they get to work building an interface in antivirus using garden variety. Again, I'm saying that more over the ones using normal garage stuff yeah home improvement and it looks surprisingly good and she's able to make well, rocket they were, boosters they were pretty much in an advanced garage because it was yeah. over the secret base base yeah right. they don't explain it but she's able to make an antivirus and uh, rocket boot jets and like which they explain that away real quick. They're like it was easy to make. Well, I mean, then she was Be just looking before Squirrel Girl is about to steal Miss America's car. <laughs> Wait, what? Before. Oh yeah, yeah she's gonna steal Girl a car. Is gonna steal. I think it was Miss America's car. I oh. did not catch that. Yeah, this was like, at the point of the show where I was like, I have other things on my mind. Oh, it's like uh, what do I? What do I have to what do? What am I today? watching? Yeah, she like walks out of the garage and she's like, "All right, let's get going." It's like where a you yellow start car checking right? the. the oh. it's where I didn't you start even checking know there was a yellow car. Oh, yeah. what? Um, it's where you start you you start checking the timeline to see how much time is left yes. in the show. Yes, that, that oh, I did that, that the yeah. whole time. No, I bet you did. Um, <laughs> I did that. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, it was like the nine minute mark, and I was like, nine minutes still. It's <laughs> <Why? laughs> exhausting. Uh, we cut back uh, to the yeah. This is about the time where I'm like, we're still gonna be fighting for. Uh, cut back to the park, and Lockjaw and the squirrel have another scene where they, like, gain each other's respect. 
or what? something. Oh, um, yeah. No, wait. That, no, that, like that doesn't happen. The they, they, they do something. That doesn't happen yet. They're still yeah, angry at each other at this point. Mm. Uh, the Secret Warriors are fighting a losing battle against the anti-plasma. Um, since Squirrel Girl lost her bracelet, Quake is unable to contact her. We go back to Doreen and Riri. Riri builds some jet boots. And the two rush back to the park, passing by Riri's school mates. They arrive oh, they the were there? Yeah, they like they like zip past them, and then she's that. like, "Was that oh. really? Was that a girl with that squirrel tail or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> is that a per is that a person with a tail? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I did not. Uh, that. The rest of the team they arrive at the park, and the rest of the team comes with a new plan to buy them time. Squirrel girl gets yeeted by a tentacle, and saved by Lockjaw. The squirrel warms up to the giant teleporting dog, um, and oh another pop song starts playing. Right. Oh my gosh. In the credits, there's, it said that there were like four songs. I only heard three, and I don't remember what the second one was. Oh my goodness. What is I thought this? they were all the same song. Oh, I didn't know that could different. totally be. Yeah. I just thought it was like one song. I feel like that my they brain played. is buzzing. This thing is nuts. You're buzzing? Got a lot of caffeine in there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I don't feel well. I feel fine. I mean, anyway. Oh shoot! Like I'm, I'm having trouble like focusing my depth of field. I have a surprising amount of notes on Squirrel Girl. <laughs> 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 this is the character you did not like the this most. This is the character that broke. She was and very <laughs> active in the show. <laughs> she was very active in the show. She's the glue that holds the team together. Somehow. Like Hawkeye. She's like the, the trickster In of Agents the group, of Shield. you know, kind oh, of. Oh, shoot. Um, kind of. I didn't write notes for this one like I usually do, but I did watch it twice. Okay. Well, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Not really the <laughs> end. I watched it once, but it felt like I watched it three times. <laughs> <laughs> That's because it's the same story told over and over again. Yeah, it's yeah. like all... I mean, I had, I had to write down it, so essentially I watched it twice. Once yeah, you there, wrote the once synopsis. Once in my own so. brain. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Riri approaches the robot, and it shoots a bunch at her. Uh, the other team members distract it, and Riri is able to land on top of the suit and plugs in. Just as it is about to shoot Patriot in the head, Riri shuts it down, and it fires harmlessly into the air. Um, with Amy free, the AI reveals the only way to shut down the gate is to shut down the power source and kill the artificial <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> which, which, if you think about it, it's not yeah. that hard. That's not that high of stakes. Um, Riri says her goodbyes and stabs the arc reactor with, like, a hidden blade she made. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't know what that was Shink. about. Um, uh, <laughs> the gate closes, and the anti-plasma, like, gets sucked back up into it or something. Uh, and then Inferno and Miss Marvel have a weird hug, because I guess they're love interests. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was... right, yeah, yeah. At first I was like, it's just a hug, bro, and then she had, like, we yeah, like wrapped she around like wrapped it, and I was around like, him okay. several times. Like, whoa! I thought that was cute. <laughs> <laughs> it was cute until they panned out for me. Or like, and it was like, Ugh. <laughs> she's getting a little handsy. And she, she got very handsy. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I don't know why the it's the Colgate giant neon clock. Don't worry about it. I don't know why the antimatter. Plasma. plasma got sucked back up into the teleporter. That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe I was like, you just maybe because take us take a sip of rain before having an intellectual thought. Maybe it because it's like a whole mass. Um, like the the gates here, and so like it's there, but it's still like constantly going through. So when they shut the gate, it just like gets sucked back in. Oh, okay. Like or, if it, or if it gets cut leading. off from its source, it just dissipates. I don't that know. I wasn't paying enough attention to, see, to, to know what happened understand. to the antiplasma. Well, basically, it happened because Amy died. Oh, Amy <laughs> saved everybody. It happened oh, because the robot died. Back. It was that death. 
and it's like it's not it's not like when Vision dies because Vision. When does Vision like, die? Oh, never mind. Continue. <laughs> did you watch Infinity War? I did. <laughs> because he had like he died twice. He had a soul. He died twice. Yeah. yeah. He died twice. I thought he just Star died the one time. Scarlet he Witch. His- was kills him. Kills him. And, and then, then Thanos is Thanos like, not re- like that. And then he and kills then him again. Kills him. I don't remember that at all. That was very upsetting in the theater. That was. Like, I, I was remember. Such, you? I remember everyone cheering when, like, the head explodes. And it's like, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. And then he just, boom. And everyone's like, no. no. Yeah. Oh, I, was just I did get, movie. I got, I got shushed by my sister in the theater when Thanos started turning back time because I, I was apparently a little too loud. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now another staple of the podcast. Let's see who comes through that door. Oh! It's Logan. Everyone give it up for Logan interrupting the podcast. What do you need? Keys are right there. Oh, the keys. Just Again. Like last time. Yep. Every podcast, Logan comes in asking for the keys. It's, it's, I'll do it every podcast. It's all scripted. It's all scripted. Mm-hmm. He does it every time. It's a running gag. Uh, so Captain Marvel shows up after everything's been resolved. Um, Just like in Endgame. <laughs> no, <laughs> really. <sighs> I feel like it. She. I mean, well, she, didn't she, she. She shows she up. She actually did something. She in shows Endgame. up just in the nick of time in Endgame, but. It, Again, yes, it would have been a lot more useful if she had shown up ten minutes earlier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then we wouldn't have seen all the badass women do what they did. Yeah, and we wouldn't have had that awesome musical sting when they're Paltrow like when all the, all the guns yeah, tilt I don't know upwards. What that was about <laughs> when all the guns go upwards and it's like something's entering the atmosphere, and then her theme music plays. Which is great. I don't remember that. <laughs> I'm I'm a soundtrack nerd, so I noticed. A lot of that. That Alan Silvestri did a lot of incorporating other themes. That's yeah. Which oh. is like I thought that was cool. Yeah. Which is a thing like only he ever does in the MCU because every other composer is like, only my theme music can be used. <laughs> and in everything that like Alan Silvestri does is like, oh, this other composer did this superhero's theme music, I'll bring that in. Cause he's cool. Danny Elfman, less cool. Which is why the soundtrack to Age of Ultron stinks. Anyway. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know he did that. Yeah, he did the soundtrack to Age of Ultron, and he didn't even use the Avengers theme from the first movie. Wow. He does a theme that sounds kind of like it, but it's his, it's his own uh, thing. He should have just done like a remix like they did with uh, Mission yeah. Impossible. Yeah, but no, because uh, he wanted to be original. Well, he For something original. that already exists? Yeah. Okay. They should have just had Alan Silvestri do all of the and Avengers. Anyway, whatever. Um, so uh, she, uh, Hala led Captain Marvel in a wild goose chase. Uh, she congratulates Quick on the success. Um, the team lends their condolences. Wait, did Hala, did Hala die or did Hala leave? Hala, Hala escapes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. the villain won. No, she didn't blow up Earth. Well, she won in her eyes. She didn't even know. She just bailed she got away. She's like... And that was just a consolation prize, so I'm just going to go. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, I mean, she got what she wanted, ultimately. Yeah. Uh, the team lends their condolences to Riri for her lost robot friend. <laughs> and she is offered <laughs> a place on the team. So the, the conversation between Quake and Captain Marvel is interesting. She's like, good job. And Quake's like, but I messed up so many times. And Captain Marvel's like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Like you, <laughs> even you want, though she totally like railed on her in the first scene. Yeah. yeah, she sort of gives this like the ends justify the means pep talk at the end, where it's like all that matters is that you won in the end. It's like even yeah, if you messed up a bunch, like who cares how many children got ate by the anti plasma <laughs> before they evacuated the playground? <laughs> Which was a bigger messed up situation for the, these kids to have to clean up. <laughs> Than Hala in the first place, yeah. which she was there right honestly, away. Honestly, honestly, mm-hmm. they, I think they helped more than they hurt during that first exactly. fight. Like Captain no, Marvel totally tears agree. them a new one, but yeah. like, but they actually saved the kids that were there. Yeah, because yeah. like they were the kids that like they almost got crushed. Well, kind of, because um, just walked out. Because Inferno does try to weld together a beam to stop it from collapsing, but he ends up melting the beam and causing it to collapse worse. Oh my God. Uh, so that is 
I guess kind of, but that's like, like we're a learning thing. But or the beam would have collapsed anyway, so. And they survived. Yeah, so yeah. I think and they Captain helped. Marvel couldn't have helped them. Captain Marvel was, I think Captain Marvel was more upset about them showing up unannounced. Why the hell wasn't she there to help them during this big fight? Because she said, like, she, oh, apparently, I, I heard that there was something worse going on on a different planet. Oh, is that? I, that's a throwaway turn, line yeah, that, yeah, I, didn't, turn, that yeah, I didn't catch. Yeah, it turns out Hala, Hala sent her on a wild goose chase oh. so to distract her. Oh, which is why it was left to the kids, too. Yeah, because Hala them. thought, like, I can take these kids. Oh, I forgot to say this earlier. This The show reminds me, I, I feel like... The whole Secret Warriors thing is Marvel's response to Young Justice. Because mm. that was a very similar, incredibly popular DC show, which was oh, just. Oh, yes. Yeah, different it's all than of, Teen oh, Titans? Dip, yes. Okay. A little bit different. Okay. Oh, in basically in name only. <laughs> Oh, is it the same Robin's characters? Robin's still part of it. Essentially, oh, it's Nighthawk? a it's a team of sidekicks oh, created by oh, is Robin. Just Robin. Oh, it's a, it might be a different Robin. He becomes. I thought Robin it's changed Grayson. his name. Um, yeah, he becomes Nightwing in season two. A Nightwing. Oh. And then they have, they they skip right to Tim Drake in season two. They they skip over Jason Todd. I'm not talking about Robins. That's a whole thing. Um, but yes, yeah, essentially it's the younger heroes making their own team to deal with the more minor threats that the big heroes don't care about. They don't care. I think that's pretty big. Antiplasma trying to eat the earth. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's usually like these, you know, um, <laughs> like the whole thing in Young Justice. And who is it this time? Oh, oh it's two oh, people. It's two people. Oh, Rachel's back. Rachel's back, everybody. Oh, my gosh. The Isn't the more you inter it's fun fact the more you interrupt this show oh the gosh. less likely you are to appear on it. That's true. That's a true oh, fact. That's a lie. I've been on this show three okay, times. don't make me censor you guys. I have to do this every time. <laughs> <laughs> we don't swear. You shouldn't either. That's right. I'm a good Christian podcast. It's a Disney. Disney doesn't like swearing. I yes, I do. Uh, I do have to confess that I did allow. You told me this. I did. There was two episodes back. The one that Elena was on. I did uh, miss two f bombs before it went live on uh, the before? podcast. Before? Oh, no. Oh, on YouTube. Oh, no. On YouTube, okay. I fixed it. I, I didn't fix it in time for the YouTube, but for the podcast upload. But then I I, I fixed it and then re-uploaded it. Oh, okay. So if you downloaded that podcast when it first aired, you got to hear some swears. But if you downloaded it after I fixed it, then you didn't. So, for like a week time, you could hear <laughs> you could swear on this podcast. <laughs> I missed it. Yeah. My, sis my sister, uh, she has her uh, app set to auto-download, so she got to hear it. Oh, boy. And it was like, oh, you forgot that. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. And, uh, I mean, I d it didn't. Well, technically, you could put one F-bomb in for I it to be PG-13. There was two. <laughs> <laughs> So it's okay. Really Apple hard. Music didn't give Apple Music didn't notice. So, um, what else we have? how did this movie end? I can't remember. I'm almost there. Don't worry. I was gonna look oh, at our okay. uh, listenership to see if it like spiked downwards after that episode. Okay. Um, I doubt it. It didn't. No, that yeah, that episode only got like a few plays uh, before it got fixed. Um, so, oh yeah, we cut to later outside a New Jersey warehouse where there's some villain going or whatever. Oh and yeah, and they have that New Jersey joke. Ironheart shows up with her new suit. Oh. The team then charges together and credits roll. And that's how it ends. That was weird. And yeah, sh yeah, Riri shows up and is just sort of like, oh, you're back. She's like, yeah, I'm back. She's like <laughs> really, she's kind of like standoffish. Y yeah, it was really weird. Because then at first, the, okay, so now I remember a little bit, right? So the scene before, you have a place on our team, and it's yours. Uh -huh. And she's it's like, I'll like, think about it. And then she shows up. And then she up, shows up. And to, she's still a little like, yeah. nah. Yeah. Like, be grateful. <laughs> mm -hmm. right? You found a new family. Yeah. You're a exactly. young Avenger. I don't know why they did, just didn't do the Young Avengers. Because Young that Avengers is too much stupid. like Young... Young Avengers has... 
that would sound a lot like Young Justice. Mm -hmm. I think there is a Young Avengers, there, though. Yeah, there is Young Avengers, and that they're probably doing that in the MCU. Oh, jeez. Because they've got... Who's the... What's the new one that Angelina Jolie's going to be in? Eternals. Oh. That's going to be really weird. But, yeah. like, they're, they're introducing a lot of Young Avengers, like Miss Marvel and Miss America, uh, <laughs> Wicked and Speed in WandaVision. Uh, Wicked and Speed. Yeah, they're Wanda's kids. Oh, I was wondering. I was like, okay. Yeah, in the comics, they, they become Young Avengers. Oh, boy. Uh, Ant-Man's daughter is one. Which they introduce in Infinity War. or Yeah, in Endgame. Endgame. Um, and then she's going to be in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which is the dumbest name ever, but whatever. Um, who else am I forgetting? Ironheart's getting her Disney Plus show. She's going to be in it. Iron Lad might be. <laughs> Iron Lad. Yeah, people, the, the theory is that the kid from Iron Man 3, who was at Tony Stark's funeral in Endgame, is going to become Iron Lad. No. No. Oh, no way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the little boy that helped him. Yeah, yeah, um, he's, 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 he's in Endgame. He's not he was in Endgame? Mm -hmm. What? I noticed that. Yeah, and at Tony Stark's funeral, where there's like this one teenager who's like, who feels out of place, that, yeah, he's the kid from Iron Man 3. Well, here's the funny thing, I, I don't even was, remember okay. the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> I, uh, uh, the only thing I remember was Gwyneth Paltrow's character taking his helmet. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I thought that was the end of the movie. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, they like, go back okay, in time or something. I don't yeah. Captain America comes back and he dies. We're not going to go on another Gwyneth Paltrow side tangent this episode. Because <laughs> I had to censor a few choice words out of that last All time. All the stuff about goop? You heard about goop? Yeah, isn't that her like mm. healthy wellness? Yeah. Healthy yes, it is. We talked, we talked about the candle last time and I had to censor a word. So don't, <laughs> don't do it. Um, <laughs> cut to late. Oh, oh, wait. No, that was the end of it. That's the end of the movie. Shoot. Final yeah. thoughts. Moment of the movie. Which can be favorite, least favorite, funniest moment. <sighs> the defining moment. Ooh, that's what I should call it. Defining moment. That's the name. That's new name is the defining moment of the movie. That. I'm positive I spelled defining wrong. I'm still gonna choose no, my that's favorite true. moment. That that word doesn't look but, right. It's I the mean, N I N. You could be a favorite. Oh, okay. Yeah, just the, 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 the defines it for you. Um, it Quake eating seven zucchini. Oh, I was totally <laughs> thinking that. <laughs> Quake eating, like uh. especially calling out is like you've, are you are you okay? You've eaten a lot of zucchini donuts, and Quake's like I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a, that's a good defining moment, just because it's a very it hones in that it's a kid show. They can't meet at a bar. <laughs> and like it's it's like almost yeah. and they're not, but they're not they're also not binging on donuts they're binging on healthy versions of yeah it. so they can't even go so far as to eat exactly. health, healthy foods wow yeah alternatively i give if, that, if, that, if that's going to be yours okay. uh then mine will be the uh, seventh secret of sitting <laughs> <laughs> cameron my tough act to follow moment will be during the opening fight, Squirrel Girl saves <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel Girl saves somebody, and then she's like, "Oh, you're safe." And he's like, "Who are you?" <laughs> uh, was and good. she's like, "I'm Squirrel Girl or something." Yeah. Like oh yeah, yeah. Huh? It Squirrels. <laughs> Neat. Uh, what are even her powers in this? Like, what does she have? Super strength. She does. And that's it. She talks to animals. I think every <laughs> she doesn't even like summon a bunch of squirrels or anything. No, she doesn't. Just the one squirrel that's a part of the team. Which well, does. Is, does she ever? Do they ever define her powers? Because I always thought that they like that. That was the thing that they never talked about. That is her kind powers. of a thing in comics. Is that oh. her powers are intentionally vague? Mm-hmm. So that <laughs> when called, new things come up, 
it's just accepted. Yeah, her full just her full moniker is the unbeatable squirrel girl. Yeah, so which I they mention in the show. Because she, cool. she never like loses. She never loses. Superheroes just have super strength. It's not even uncommon to not have super strength. Yeah, yeah. Because I most, mean, most do. Miss Marvel, not only can she stretch and make her hands bigger. But she can lift things with those hands. Right. I mean, big she's hands. super strong. The guy who was holding up that beam is super strong. Was that Patriot? Which is weird because that was the Inferno was guy. Pa- no, yeah, it was Inferno, yeah. yeah. And when that shot, I Not thought Not sure I'd name a superhero size. that I thought he was yeah. giant. Today. I was like, what? But he's regular. He's regular, yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Patriot. Is called? that who that other character was, Patriot? Yeah, he's got he's got a Captain America type shield that can also fly and uh, shoot lasers, lasers and rockets. Yeah, it's like if it's Captain unfair. America's shield like, was Captain also America a gun. Captain America has a bunch of iterations, right? He's got uh, like all the knockoff Captain America. Not knock not knockoff ones, but you know Captain America. Oh, he's got the weird, like, wing yeah. shield, and then he's got the circular He's got, one. yeah, well, no, I mean, just, like, Captain oh. America in general. There's Miss America, there's Patriot. Oh, of just the name America. The name, yeah. Oh, there's yeah. Also, there's U.S. Agent. There, yeah, U.S. Agent. There's what? one that Barnes is. What's? Winter Soldier? Winter Soldier. Yeah. And then the I guess Hawk th- guy. Th- that's kind of, like, the closest really? Marvel has Who's to, like, not the Bat named family. Hawk Eye? What is his name? I don't know. Falcon? Yeah. Yes, there you go. Birdman. Birdman. <laughs> no, I guess, I, yeah, that, that is the closest Marvel would have to, like, the Bat family, where, like, there's Batman yeah. and Robin and Batgirl, like, all these people. So we have Captain America and Bucky, the Winter American Soldier, family. Falcon, U.S. Agent, Patriot. It's good that it's diverse. Yeah. Yeah. I would I would change his name from Patriot to something else nowadays, but that's yeah. besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a different connotation. Um, uh, oh my gosh, rank the film. Wait. Oh jeez. What's the ranking? Oh, you want okay criteria? So, or okay. I mean, what 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 is the the scale? I guess. So we um, on a scale from the Frozen the Two to Crimson oh, Wing, Mystery right. of the <laughs> Flamingos. That's bottom. Oh good. That's I'm the bottom. Okay. That's Crimson the bottom. Wing is on the bottom. Yeah. yeah, it was a really bad documentary. That wasn't that bad. I <laughs> liked that one. <laughs> we as a group, me, Elena, Nephi, and Carl. Was and Frozen 2 was on the top? I yeah, think we so, had yeah. four people. Why did I do that? Three is enough. Anyway. Yeah, and Frozen's at the top. I feel top. like you should be able to do okay. this on there. Okay. He doesn't have the... You know, HDMI? The, the, no, it's... Oh, a oh Mac, it's a Mac. I can't do that. You could probably... You could. I, I, I could, do, it, I could do it with the... Uh, Adapter, but it, it causes the computer to freak out, so oh, I yeah. usually don't. Okay, how about we'll try this? You you can see it, you can as well, but I'm gonna read them off, and then you let me know when you feel like it fits. <laughs> we get to a worse Where is movie. Spider-Man? It has to be. Shush. Oh, it's okay. We got Frozen Two, <laughs> Dead Man's Chest, Empire Strikes Back, New Hope, Hamilton, The Muppets. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Oh, you did watch the Muppets. That's yeah. awesome. The mo- yeah, the twenty eleven mo- movie. The movie one. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. Finding Those are all good. Dory, Fish Hooks, Cars, The Simpsons, Hatching Pete, Noel. We're getting close. Hocus Pocus, The Incredible Hulk, nineteen ninety six animated show. Lizzie McGuire, Tom and Huck. Okay, it's. Mm. Hmm. I think it should be around there somewhere. Yeah. Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. Why no, is that down there? Okay, <laughs> it should be above Sister Act. I think it should be above Sister Better, Act. No. No, why no, below. Sister Sorry, Act? below. First below. of all, why is Sister is Act it above, 2 is down it a, there in the first place? That bad. is a brilliant movie. It is. It's so I think good. if we, I think. Sister Act or Sister Act 2? Sister Act 2, both of them. Lauren Hill's in it. <laughs> we should have had you on for Sister Act. Heck yes. <laughs> Oh boy! Jesus well, washed my sins away. <laughs> what? <laughs> I liked. I, uh, I think I may have been outvoted for Sister Act. I don't know why that's like below it. Tom and Huck. Yeah. This, why is okay. it below Lizzie McGuire? <laughs> this is also a staple Lizzie of the McGuire movie. Was is, very this is a much staple liked. of the show. Is when we really question our decisions because <laughs> like everything is ranked in relation to each other, so things will inadvertently get pushed down. Mm-hmm. When yeah, things are that's true. Yeah, and 
Like Let's see. Hulk First was originally all, okay. Marvel lower Rising on the list. is okay. Yeah, and it should be still lower on the list. Better yeah. or worse I than? I don't know why it's under Sister Act. <laughs> X Men. X Two Thousand movie. Oh, when is that? This is worse than that. Oh, okay. Lend a paw, <laughs> the one where. <laughs> what the f? I don't think where, I've seen uh, that one. Um, uh, Pluto rescues a... the cat from Pinocchio from a river. It's like a five minute. This is okay. No, I, 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 I oh, say okay. this is better than Lend a Paw, but worse than X Men. Don't tell me Lend a Paw was that good. I feel like it's worse than Lend a Paw. Though. Okay, is it better than the uh, 2017 Spider Man TV show? Yes, 100%. Between Lend a Paw and Spider Man. I'm still figuring out why Sister Act 2 is so low on that list. Yeah, that's a mistake on our part. And why well, it's even lower than Don't talk the about Hulk. Little Mermaid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we talk about Little Mermaid every episode, and I don't, I'm tired of talking about Little Mermaid 3. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't good. There was a third one? Yep. Oh my gosh. We watched it. Yes, there was a third one, and it's a prequel, and it's basically Footloose. Okay, so... It, Marvel Rising Heart of Iron is going to be a number 21 between Lend a Paw and Spider Hyphen Man. <laughs> the 2017 TV show, is that the cartoon? Cartoon, yes. yeah. And it's, it, it is awful. Yeah. Is it really? Oh, it's so bad. Um, There's like a point where he's like. If we want to talk, if you, if oh, you want to no, judge well, us I'm, further for like our ranking, the, below that. Is like. He like writes out an equation for the whole like with great responsibility, great power comes great responsibility. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he, he like, writes down yeah equation. with great it's power comes great bad. responsibility as a math equation. Yeah. Uncle Ben does. Yeah. yeah it's That's really bad. horrible. Uh, Uncle Spider-Man Ben's supposed to be a blue collar. It's like great power over great responsibility oh. equals X. I don't know. Um, I, I Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> equals Spider Man. Yeah. So yeah, below Spider Man is Egypt's Treasury Guardians. Then the Little Mermaid Ariel's beginning. Then Bambi. Bambi? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> then Marvel's Future Bambi Avengers. Bambi cannot be worse than Little uh, Mermaid 3. So then, at the time, again, this is all relative. <laughs> at the time, we were like, we didn't like this movie because there's no plot. So we put it low. No These low. are all really like fresh okay. opinions. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and really bad opinions as well. <laughs> uh, then it's Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. Then Your Friend the Rat. Then My Dog the Thief, then Santa's Workshop, then Crimson Wing Mystery of the Flamingos. It was so boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. I did use that movie to help me fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I thought it was interesting. I thought it was great. And I'm like, oh. I liked it when the flam- baby flamingos got eaten by oh, hawks so or whatever. Oh, jeez, yeah. When they had to walk across the hot. Where are we? Film I mean, information and statistics. Oh. This film was written by Margaret Dunlap. It was directed by Sol Choi, supervising director Alfred Domino. Released March 31st, 2019, in the before times. Runtime of 44 minutes. IMDb score. Everything before March 2020 is the before times. <laughs> IMDb score of 4.2 out of 10. It's very low. Rotten Tomatoes scores. Um, none percent oh. critics, none percent audience. However, there is one critic review, which is positive. So technically, it is 100%. No! <laughs> no! It's a kid show. Technically. Ah. Uh. I feel like but Rot- Rotten Tomatoes. Show. I think no. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't <laughs> give it a, a percentage until it has like over a hundred or something. Oh, that okay. Um, Bechdel test pass. Yeah, it passes. Yeah. yeah, several conversations between female characters about zucchini. About zucchini. About zucchini pomegranate donuts. It passes the <laughs> zucchini test. <laughs> Should that be should that be a thing in the show? Is the zucchini test? Is there needs to be a conversation about zucchini? Oh boy, is there a cult in this? Oh yeah, the cult test. Yeah, forgot about that. No, there is not. Oh, okay, that was something we instituted early on With because what? the first like four movies we watched had some sort of cult in them. Yeah. Okay, I can see Date with a Vampire. Date with a Vampire had a cult. Um. Um. I know Hocus Pocus. Tom and, and Tom and Huck, they create a cult. Yes. Oh. 
Which Tom and Huck did you watch? Did you watch the old, old one mm, in the, the 80s, or did you watch the one with Jonathan Taylor Thomas? Jonathan Taylor Thomas, yeah. Because <laughs> there, there, there's a point where they create a blood pact, so they create a cult. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, in uh, Hocus Pocus, there's a weird... In like, Hocus Pocus, there's well, absolutely a cult. Yeah. That, that cult was later on. In... What's the name of the movie? Mascot, school mascot. Hatching Pete? Hatching Pete. In Hatching Pete, the school essentially creates a cult to Pete. Uh, oh, that's right. Or to, to, the, to the mascot. Yeah, to the mascot. They're, they essentially are worshiping the mascot by the end of the movie. No, this, uh, you know what? Yeah, uh, this is, this is going to be an official staple of the show. I'm typing it down. Cult test. Yay. Is there a cult? No, no. there is not a cult in this show. Um, and now it's time to spin the wheel. This week's Yay. wheel was submitted via email by Super Pants and his mystery. Mm. Oh, mysteries. And we love our guest. Okay. Spin the wheel this time. We're going to have you on. Spin maybe the on mic. I, I, I don't should need be fine. to. I think I, should, I have a long enough tail. Oh, yeah. A, I mean, if it, and spin the, uh, the wheel. You got to say yeet as well. Yeet. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron, you were going to hate me. Oh my gosh, no. Sister Act 1. Marvel Battle World Mystery of the Thanos Stones. <laughs> More Marvel! No! Not WandaVision. Is it, uh... Thanos Stones. Is it a cartoon? Yeah, it's a cartoon. Oh, <laughs> Invite me uh, when something good comes up. <laughs> So, oh, I, will, I, will, I will look this up on Disney Plus. Okay. America's back. Unfortunately, yeah. It's a weird, this is a drone shot. This has to be a drone yes, shot. It, it feels mechanical. So, oh my gosh, oh. Yeah, they are all I usually assume it's like incredibly... A shot. Oh. So. What? You can tell when they... There is a Captain of Marvel. There is a Captain America cat. Ew. In this show? Okay, so we will watch the entirety of season one because uh, the longest an episode is is five minutes. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, gosh, everyone is like incredibly chibi. Yeah. Oh, Look at yeah. that. They're so oh. cute. Best. Our heroes, oh, Iron Man and Captain Marvel, must team up with some unexpected allies and explore strange lands to solve the mystery of the Thanos stones and something. Yeah, uh, so uh, uh, Super Pants in their email did say that they uh, did this just so we could watch uh, WandaVision. Sorry. Oh my gosh. The other things on the list were uh, How WandaVision. Is this mystery? Secrets of. S it's the mystery of the Thanos stones. It's in the title. Oh. Uh, we could have gotten Secrets of Sulphur Springs, The Evermore Chronicles, So Weird, or Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Oh, yeah, I so forgot. So weird. There's just way too many cartoons in this wheel. This is fine. Being a mystery This is wheel. what, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, This is a total of 23 minutes. Okay. That's not that bad. That's shorter than what we saw. There is a... <laughs> Uh, they go to a universe where everyone is animals. And Captain America is a cat. And Doctor Strange is a frog. And somebody is a pig. So we got a cat. Cat to America. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I might just watch it. Just Thanos creates a strange new planet. Our heroes explore the new planet. What? New Quack City, Hulkland Jungles, the Thor Core. <gasps> this is so good. It might be better than what we just saw. Thanos oh, has used the geez. Infinity Gauntlet to create a new world battle Jeez, world. So cute. Our heroes, Iron Man and Captain Marvel, must team up with some unexpected allies to explore strange lands to solve the mystery of Thanos. I think this will be incredibly entertaining. Oh boy. <laughs> Glad it's only 23 minutes. We are. This is really like push. Okay. Now, make a smarter decision when choosing the wheel this time. Well, I'm not going to choose this time. <laughs> You're not? I chose last time and we got this. Okay. So this is the list of wheels we have to spin for next week. We okay. have Disney, Holiday Movies Collection. I think that's not on there anymore. 
-hmm. High School Musical Collection, Disney Channel Original Movie Collection, Star Wars The St Skywalker Saga Collection, National Geographic Exploring Our World Collection, Disney Channel Collection, Toy Story Collection, National Geographic Animals and Nature Collection, Throwbacks, and Halloween. I'm ruling out Halloween and uh, Holiday because those aren't on there currently. Okay. We have to wait until that time of year. What if, what, what if we uh, do the uh, Disney Plus originals? Are those movies? Um, Disney they, Channel original movie. Oh, boy, you never mind. You should do the, the, the shorts that came out on Disney Plus. Disney home. Plus shorts. No, not the old ones. The ones that came out specific. The oh, spark shorts. Oh, spark shorts. If so, yeah, we would need someone to submit that wheel. I don't submit them myself. Yeah, oh, regrettably, we can't. Yeah, I will choose. submit the wheel for <laughs> spark shorts. Okay. I'll put that. I'll put that on the list, but we won't select it for next week. Okay. For next week, can I choose? We yes. do the Disney show one. Disney Disney Channel yes. collection? No. Okay. Okay, which uh, one do you want to do then? I don't know. None of them sound good. <laughs> Throwbacks. <laughs> okay, you want me to? Okay, I'll... We can I'll, do the Disney Channel ones. It's fine. Well, let me... I'll, I'm interested to see what's in the throwbacks. Oh, okay. Because uh, that... that uh, oh, there are, there are specific Okay, shows throwbacks. We got... Oh, Santa yeah, Claus. So Santa, Santa weird, Claus like. 2. Home Alone. Home Alone 2, Haunted Mansion, Toy Story, Hercules, Halloween Town, Bugs Life, Parent Trap, Ever After, 101 Dalmatians, Chronicles of Narnia. Let's do throwbacks. Oh, yeah. Throwbacks oh, my gosh. Like yeah. Goofy movie, Chicken Little. <laughs> oh. With our luck, Treasure Planet. We're doing it. Oh, We're my gosh. Throwbacks. Treasure Planet was oh. one of my favorites. Oh, my heck. Treasure Planet is my second favorite movie of all time. Oh, no, wait. I was thinking about a different one. Oh, Treasure Planet's good though. It is good, but I was thinking about the one with the City of Gold, with Atlantis. It, it was called Atlantis. Okay. <laughs> well, you're, El, the City of Gold is El Dorado, which is yeah. DreamWorks. Yes. Which was DreamWorks. Dream By the way, I love Santa Claus, all three of them. The one that's... With Tim Allen. Okay. I don't <laughs> like the third one. I oh, like them all. It's Wait, are those on there? Yeah, they are. Oh boy. So yeah, is the Home third Alone. one is... Home Alone 1, 2, and 3 are also on there. This is going to be a really real uh, gamble here. Not 4 and 5, though, because I don't think 4 and 5 were made by Fox. Those are the ones with a different kid, right? Yeah. 3 is with a different kid. 4 is with a uh, girl. 5 is with a kid who is supposed to be Kevin. And 2 actors who are supposed to be the Wet Bandits. Oh, oh. boy. I didn't even know there was a four and five. I just thought it ended with the third one and the, the different kid. I almost bought the box set. That had all five? Yeah, but I chose not to. I think I... Because I knew that it would be unnecessary suffering for me. When I first watched Home Alone, it was, I was like, let's watch Home Alone. And then my parents brought home Home Alone 4. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't think that's the kid. We watched yeah. it. Those I also good. discovered that there are two sequels to Christmas Story, but are not related to each other. There was a there was a sequel. The one by uh, Charles Dickens. That's Christmas Carol. Oh. Christmas Story is the one with the leg lamp. The one with the leg lamp. Oh yes. Continue. Which hot take is the least funny joke in that movie, but everyone recognizes it. Um, yeah, there was a sequel. None none of the original cast are in either of the sequels. There was a sequel called My Summer Story, which is based on the book sequel to the original book, okay. which the movie is based on. Yeah. And then there was Christmas Story 2, which had nothing to do with anything. Oh, man. Um, and for research, I may watch them because I enjoy trash. Um, anyway, so for those of you at home, we will be watching Marvel Battle World Mystery of the Thanos Stones, and we will be enjoying every second of it. And we will be spinning the throwbacks wheel and getting something good. Or go to Buxy Hall. I think I saw it on there. <laughs> <laughs> There's also that one, uh. ooh, it was like Christmas Miracle or something where like, uh, 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 um, uh, 
Christmas. The, the inciting incident. Oh my gosh, that one where they all die. Yeah, oh. where 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 um, <laughs> there's a mother and her kids are in the car, and uh, a a thief steals the car and doesn't really ki realize the kids are in it, and then slides off of the road on a bridge, and then <laughs> the kids die. <laughs> and that's the inciting incident of the movie. And then they find the true uh, meaning of Christmas. Shoot. <laughs> How? Oh, no, wait, the dad dies in a work accident. And then someone steals the car with the kids inside and then drives it off a bridge. And then the How mom... do you find the real meaning of Christmas when everyone dies? Well, I believe mom, at the I end of the movie, that, they so. time she, the Santa Claus gives her her Christmas wish and time travels back to before the kids die. And then they don't. Oh, that's even dumber than I thought. What is this movie called? It's called like a Christmas miracle or something like that. Yeah, that sounds like a horror. Anyway, movie. yeah. Anyways, if you haven't seen it, Fat Man. It's a holiday movie. <laughs> Fat Man. It stars Mel Gibson. What? As Santa Claus. What? Oh, what? This came out last year. Uh, oh. Obviously, it's not a Disney movie. I gotta wrap movie. up. Yeah, you want to wrap up? Yeah, because I've, okay. I've got my radio shift in a half hour, and I need to not be groggy for it. Thank you all so much for listening. If you enjoyed this show, please review us on iTunes or whatever podcast service you use to listen to it, and share it with your friends. Give a friend the gift of crappy Marvel shows. Um, I will, I, do, I will specify this show is in no way a replacement for watching it. We encourage everyone to watch the show before listening to the podcast. But if you uh, refuse to, I completely understand. <laughs> yes. um, that's what my sister says is that um, we watch it so she doesn't have to. But whatever. Um, don't be calling sister. Don't be. <laughs> <laughs> Watch She's going to enjoy that <laughs> shout out. Um, you can send your reviews or comments to wherestreamscometrue at gmail.com. We are also on Twitter at Studio76 WSCT, which is a horrible title and I should change it. I don't know. It's stuck in my head though. WSCT. Yeah. WSCT, Where Streams Come True. Uh, you can submit a wheel such as a category or search term on Disney+. Plus. Um, and that is all for this episode. Uh, enjoy. I hope to be back for a better. The, this a episode better will be coming out the. I want to watch. This episode will be coming out the day the uh, season finale of Wandavision comes out. So, can oh. you believe that happened? Ooh, what a coincidence! <laughs> it was a great show. When Magneto showed up, I don't know. That's my prediction. Oh boy. Interesting. The entire Fantastic Four. He just shows up and grounds her. <laughs> you ground it. He wasn't really her, her father. He wasn't? I thought he totally was. They retconned that in the comics. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. They also retconned that she was a mutant in the comics. Yeah, there's a bunch of different. So what is she then? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how she got her powers. Oh. Okay. Uh, you'll find out by the end of this week's episode. Yeah. I will not because I did not. No. <laughs>